What's cooking guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a white flash transition like this. To start this, I always like to create an adjustment layer. Right click, new item, and just do an adjustment layer. And I like to just pull this on top of my clip, definitely not that long. So I'm going to just minimize that a little bit. I'm going to do 15 frames on one side and 30 frames on the other just to start and then we can adjust it later. So to do that, I'm going to make sure I'm in the middle of my clip where my adjustment layer is and I'm going to hit shift and I'm gonna hit the right arrow key once, that's five frames and then I'm gonna do it two more times. So 10, 15 frames on the front side. And then on the back side, I'm gonna do 30. So I'm gonna go back to my clip, hit the up arrow key and then do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then close that in. Now I can actually apply my effect. And as always, under effects, here I'm going to type in levels. And then here is levels. I'm going to pull levels down and into my adjustment layer. Go into my effects controls. And here are my level settings. We're only going to be adjusting the RGB white input level. So to get started, I'm just gonna go to the front of my adjustment layer, which is right here. And if you can't get to the front, it's like going somewhere else. You probably don't have your layer toggled. So make sure that's toggled on. And then now that we're in the front of our adjustment layer, I'm going to create a keyframe by just hitting this toggle animation. Now that I have that, I'm going to go to the middle of my cut right here by hitting the down arrow key until I hit that. Now I'm going to adjust my input all the way to zero. So now it's as white as it can possibly get. And Lastly, I'm going to go to the end of my adjustment layer by hitting the down arrow key. And I'm going to move this back up to 255, which is what I started on. Back to normal. True. After just a That actually looks really good, but I want to make it a little longer on this side. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I have 30 frames there. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do another 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And I'm going to extend it the rest of the length here. And then I'm just going to kind of pull my keyframe back. I just wanted to build a little bit more. It's for the future. After just a that actually looks a lot better. It's for the future. Right now. now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my adjustment layer and I'm gonna right click on my first keyframe and I'm gonna do an ease out. And then I'm going to right click on my last keyframe and ease in. I'm not gonna touch my middle keyframe. I don't need to do that. It's just gonna make it a little smoother as it starts and ends. For the future. So now the last thing I like to do for all my transitions is add a sound effect. So I'm just gonna quickly grab a sound effect that I like, pull this onto my layer here, and for this. But always hopes for the future. That's that works perfectly. So now the very last thing I like to do is just save my presets so I don't have to do this every time. So it's pretty simple, just go into my effects controls, make sure my layer's selected, go to levels, right click, save preset. I'm just gonna save this as white flash transition and then when I save that and next time I want to use it go into my effects my presets get rid of the levels here my presets and my white flash should be right here and I can just drag and drop whenever I need it all right guys so that's the white flash transition for you in Premiere Pro very easy to do and the end result is actually really good so as always if you like this video make sure you like and subscribe and if you have anything to say leave it in the comment section below other than that I'll see you in the next one guys peace